I've been anxious as long as I can remember. And it's the worst when I'm speaking in front of people. I remember one time, I had to give a class presentation. I was so nervous that I kept messing up my words and losing my place. My hands were shaking so badly that I couldn't even hold my notes and I was sweating like crazy. Inside, my heart was racing, my mouth was dry, and I just felt dizzy. I was so distracted and I started worrying that everyone was going to laugh at me. I mumbled my presentation and skipped the whole second half. I was too embarrassed to go to class again for days, and I tried to get out of any other presentations that semester. Our mind and body are closely linked. When I'm feeling down or anxious, I often get headaches or stomach aches. My muscles feel tense. Sometimes I even have trouble breathing or think I'm going to throw up. These feelings can create a vicious cycle, making my depression or anxiety even worse. The good news is that these feelings aren't actually dangerous, and there are some really quick relaxation skills that can make a big difference and stop the cycle. Relaxation has really helped me deal with the feelings that come with my anxiety. At first, I was skeptical because the skills include things like mindfulness and yoga. Honestly, I didn't think they would help, but my anxiety was getting so bad that I needed to do something. Now I use both deep breathing and mindfulness daily, and it's made a huge difference. One of the mindfulness techniques that really helps me is to focus on my five senses and what is happening in the present moment. When I'm feeling anxious, like if I'm about to talk to people I don't know well, and start spiraling into anxiety about my sweating, heart racing, or whatever. I try to stop and focus on the idea of one thing I can hear right now, one thing I can smell, one thing I can see, something I can touch, or even something I can taste. Grounding myself in my five senses can be hard, but when I'm focusing, I am less distracted by what my body is doing. Usually this makes my anxiety symptoms a little better, which helps me get through whatever I need to do more smoothly. Relaxation skills like mindfulness have helped me to manage the symptoms that come along with anxiety and depression. Mindfulness is especially helpful because it taught me how to focus my attention and energy better. With a little bit of practice, mindfulness and other physical coping skills have helped me get through the very things that make me the most nervous. These skills also get rid of physical symptoms that can be both embarrassing and frustrating. And don't worry, if you don't like the sound of mindfulness or deep breathing, there are hundreds of ways to practice relaxation.